Hi friends, so in this video we are going to see what is method overloading in Java. Method overloading is one of the key concepts in Java programming. So in this concept, a class can have more than one method with the same name. So example, if you want to do the addition operation, at the same time if you want to do the uh, subtraction operation. Both the operation you can have different methods, example arithmetic, you can have the method name as arithmetic. So both the methods you can have the same name but you can go for the different operations and different uh, arguments also and different uh, number of arguments also you can go for it. So this is the major one for the method overloading and uh, what is the main advantage of this particular method overloading concept? So if we are using this method overloading concept we can increase the reliability of the Java program. Uh, what are the ways you can implement the method overloading? In Java so one is you can change the number of arguments example you can have uh, three arguments or you can have two arguments with the same name that is a same method name then the second way you can change the data type in one method you can pass the integer arguments and second method you can pass the string arguments. so this is how you can implement the method overloading in Java so we are going to uh, see two different examples so one is with the number of arguments that is a changing the number of arguments that is the first example and second example changing the data type the first example here i'm just giving the name uh, the class name is sample one two three so here i'm giving a method name as output so here the first method having two uh, two parameters having so one is a and b and the second method the same name that is output is the name for the particular method parameters are a2 b2 and c2 these are the parameters so here changing the parameters first method is having two parameters and second method is having three parameters creating the method main method so after that within the main method i'm just creating the object for that particular class sample one two three then with the help of that particular object i'm going to pass the arguments so first for the first method i'm just uh, passing the arguments five and six and the second method I'm just passing the arguments 5, 6, 7. So first method two arguments and second method three arguments. This is the example for changing the number of arguments. So here we'll uh, see this particular example in the Eclipse ID also. So here I've just created class sample 1, 2, 3. So within this class I have created two methods that is output with the two parameters then output with the three parameters the method name is output the first method will have two parameters and second method will have three parameters and also i have created the main method within the main method i just have created the object for the particular class then with the help of that object b1 i'm just passing the arguments that is the first method i'm just passing two arguments and second method i'm just passing three arguments we are going to see how it will execute this is the output from first method that is a we passed two arguments that is a 5 and 6 11 is the output and second method second output is from the second method that is uh, three arguments arguments we pass result is 65 so this is the example for uh, first so in the second example we are going to see it in this eclipse so here i just gave the name as uh, class name as sample 1 2 3 4 and I have I'm using two methods that is output so both the methods are having the uh, same name but two different data types so first method with the integer data type and second method with the uh, string data type so I have again I have created the main method so within the main method I have created the object so with the help of object I'm going to pass the argument so first I'm just going to pass the arguments for integer data type and second method i'm just going to pass the arguments for string data type okay so now we'll execute this program and see what is the results see this is the first output from the first method so we have used integer data type so there we have it we have added two variables integer variables and got the output that is 11 6 and 5 we have passed here then the second method we have passed arguments for string data type so java and program so here the result is java program so this is how your method overloading can be implemented in java programming and these two methods are these two ways are very simple basic ways you can implement thank you